So here's my 2019 member server. Got server manager, add roles and features. Click on next. We're deploying this locally on this machine and under file and storage services, if you expand that out, scroll down a little bit, the one that we're looking for is called server for NFS. Add the additional features. Click next and accept all the defaults all the way at the end of the wizard. Now for the sake of the video, I've obviously sped this up quite considerably. But when it's done, it should say installation succeeded. Click close. Now unlike other rules and features, there's nothing extra to configure. So we can just close that down. So to create a folder that I'm going to share on one of the drives on this server, I'm going to create just a common garden folder. Call it share. Now go to the properties of that folder and now you will see an additional tab called NFS Sharing. Manage NFS Sharing. Now simply tick the box to share the folder via NFS. Take a note of the network name and accept pretty much all the defaults that it offers but go to permissions and you'll see by default all machines have read-only access. Now we're going to need to change that so that our ESX hosts have read-write access. Click allow root access and then click OK. Now obviously you could put the individual IP addresses of your ESX hosts in here if you wanted to make it a little more secure. Uh, just take a note of your network path there and remember it's the, the actual path of the share is forward slash share. We're in Linux land now unfortunately. So close that down. Now if I jump onto my ESX, you'll see there's my host. Now you need to have a VM kernel port on the same network as your NFS share, otherwise you won't be able to connect to it. And that's for every ESX host that you want to connect to that share. So go to data stores, right click my cluster there and go storage, new data store. Select NFS, click next which you can't see because I don't have a lot of real estate. NFS3 is fine, click next. Give the data store a name. Put in the folder share name. Now remember to prefix with the forward slash and they are case sensitive. And then the machine that the share is on. I'm just putting the IP address in. You could of course put the FQD in if you wanted to. Click next. Select the ESX host or hosts that you want to present it to. Click next. Click finish. And after a couple of seconds, hopefully, there you go. There's our data store there. Now, to prove it's not all smoke and mirrors, if I open the folder that I'm sharing and just create a test file in there, just a Word document called test, and then I open that data store, we should see inside there if I go to browse files hopefully our test file there it is that's us done that's our NFS store in Windows presented into vSphere ESX thanks very much for watching and don't forget to come and visit us at www.pnetwork